Hello everyone. We're about to dive into the world of clock changing. What? Just kidding. It's daylight saving time. Let's travel back to the 18th century in World War I. Come in. 1. A false rumor. Daylight saving time is like magic. It helps us make the most of sunny days and even saves us money on electricity bills. Sounds awesome, right? Let's peek behind the curtain and see how it all works. Daylight saving time begins on the second Sunday of March when the clocks jump forward from 2 a.m. to 3 a.m. At this point, people wind their clocks forward by one hour to 3 a.m. to enter the summertime. It's like we're fast forwarding into summer. Daylight saving time lasts until November, ending at 2 a.m. on the first Sunday of November when the clocks fall back by one hour, returning to standard time. But why does this phenomenon happen? As we learned before, our planet Earth likes to spin on its axis at a jaunty angle of 23.4 degrees. This means that while folks living near the equator enjoy about 12 hours of daylight and 12 hours of darkness all year round, those of us living a bit farther north or south see some changes in our daylight hours. So by adjusting our clocks forward in the summer and back in the winter, we can save heaps of energy and money for our country. It's like a superhero move for our planet. Have you heard the rumor that Benjamin Franklin initiated the summertime movement? If you have, then forget about it, because that's not entirely true. Benjamin Franklin presented the idea in his essay titled Economic Project for Diminishing the Cost of Light in 1874. Being a frugal person and aware of special geographical positions, he suggested that Parisians could save candlelight by waking up earlier in the morning, using daylight to work, and saving candlelight for the evening. Candles were a luxury item at that time. This idea wasn't implemented until George Hudson proposed the clock adjustment. He was an entomologist and wanted to make use of the extra sunlight in the summer to hunt insects. In 1895, he suggested to the Wellington Philosophical Society that they extend the working day by two hours to make the bug hunting process longer. This idea didn't <laughs> succeed at that time. But in the early 20th century, a successful British builder named William Willett published a small book called The Waste of Daylight. Willett proposed moving the clocks forward by 80 minutes in 20 minute increments. And thus, the clock changing craze was born. The exact time to implement daylight saving was in 1907. During World War I, when fuel resources became extremely scarce, Germany decided to implement DST in 1916 as an effort to optimize fuel for the war. The US quickly followed suit, with the first DST time change occurring in 1918. During World War II, DST became popular again, with some countries even implementing double summer time. Since the 1970s, DST has been widely implemented in the US and Europe due to the aftermath of the energy crisis. Since then, the world has seen many enactments, adjustments, and abolitions depending on each country. 2. But wait, do all countries join in the fun of daylight saving time? Not quite. Believe it or not, there are some rebel states in the US that opt out of the DST dance. Take Arizona and Hawaii, for example. Why? Well, it's all because of their sunny dispositions. You see, these states are already blessed with plenty of sunshine all year round, so they don't really need to mess with their clocks. Hawaii is located in a tropical marine climate, where the seasons don't change much and sunlight is stable throughout the year. Arizona is also located in a tropical climate and desert, where summers are very hot and sunny, but winters don't have much variation in daylight. And it's not just them. Many countries near the equator also do not participate in this movement because in those countries, the sunrise and sunset times are almost the same, with negligible differences between them. New fact, DST usually occurs twice a year, and these events are often referred to as spring forward and fall back. Spring forward means moving the clock one hour forward in spring, while fall back means moving the clock one hour backward in autumn. Recently, a peculiar clock was born. Aura Iligale clock is the name of a creatively designed clock by Dennis Guidon. 
Its uniqueness lies in the fact that it has two edges to indicate whether the time is running one hour earlier or later. When it's time to adjust the time one hour earlier, you just need to push it to the left. And when it's time to adjust one hour later, you push it to the right. That's why there are no numbers on the face of this clock. If you like our video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Goodbye.